Auditor, speed match, MOI, machine setup. First, let's find a place to set up our machine. We need a place free from air drafts, from electromagnetic field creating devices. And keep away from vibrations. Any machine that causes a vibration will cause a problem. Keep in mind that we're gonna have clubs swinging off the end of the machine, so keep clearance for so. Remove the lock on the lock beam. It's held in place by two screws. Once two screws are removed, I recommend turning the lock around backwards and reinstalling it. Therefore, if you ever have to move, you don't have to worry about your machine. You can simply reverse the lock back into the locker position. The inlet for the power supply is inserted right under the lock. Insert the power supply outlet and plug it in. To level the machine, the machine has four feet that are adjustable. By turning the screws, you can either raise the machine, or you can lower the machine. The side with the bubbles is the high side. It either needs to be lowered or the other side brought up to match the level. Do this with all four corners until the machine is level. The calibration rod has a female end and a male end, both threaded. Insert the male into the female and thread till tight. The calibration rod has a sticker on it, which has the MOI printed on it. This is what we'll use to calibrate our machine. In the butt of the calibration rod, there's a hole. On the back of the auditor, there's a peg. The peg fits inside the hole. Insert the two, and then tighten down the clamp. Do not over tighten the clamp, for it'll damage your machine. Take a second to become more familiar with your machine. I put marks on mine, so that way I know where the resting point is. Now push the on button. A series of eights will appear, followed by MOI. Now pull the bar back from the resting point to the stopping point. Release the bar and press the reset button. You'll receive a reading. Write it down or memorize it. Press the reset button again. You'll receive a reading. And do this one more time. You should have three readings now. The difference between the three consecutive readings, maximum and minimum, is less than 0.05% of the calibration value. When all three readings are within 1% of the calibration value, the instrument is set up correctly and does not require calibration.